Hi, this is Jeff, and this is Tropical Plants at 53 degrees north. So today we're going to have a look at Dendrobium kingianum, or kingianum, depending on how you pronounce it. Now this is a plant I've had, I was trying to think to myself, I know I've had it at least since March 2018, because if I just grab my label here, you'll see that I repotted it, and that's what RP means, 7th of March 2018, then I repotted it again, the 6th of October 2018, then I repotted it again, 10 days later, the 16th of October, oh sorry, beg your pardon, it's not 10 days later, is it? It's a year and 10 days later, um, October 2019. So it's had a few repots, I can't think why I've repotted it, maybe I felt it was in too small a pot, uh, but I do know what's happened to it over that time. So I've had it at least, uh, well, it's gonna, it's gonna be getting on next March, where are we now? December now, mid-December. I think I'll have had it before March 2018. So I think I've had it at least two years. I definitely had it in my old greenhouse. So I thought that I was perhaps not looking after this correctly because not a great deal has happened over the last two years. I brought this at an auction and it was literally, um, let me think, one, two, three, four, five canes and these two little things down here, if you can call them proper canes. And since then, all it's done is put on this one on the left hand side and this one on the right. And that's all I've seen from it. I've not seen any other movement from it whatsoever. I've not done anything special with it. I've not put it in any special place. So let's see the, the kind of conditions that it's had. I can say exactly what it's had since March, because that's when I bought the new tropical greenhouse. But prior to that, it was in a six foot by eight foot greenhouse and it was just pretty much left to its own devices. I watered it when I remembered to water it. It wasn't in any particular like spot for sun or for shade or for anything like that. Uh, but since then, I found a little bit more out about them and I can perhaps, I can make an assumption maybe, that's the word, as to why it's not flowered. And I can then also say that I think it is about to. I don't know how long that'll be, but I think something is definitely happening, which I'll try and show you in a close-up in a few minutes. So Dendrobium kingianum is from Australia. It's a lithophytic orchid. So it grows on rocks. So that probably tells you a little bit about the kind of media that it likes. Um, because it grows on rocks, it doesn't like to be wet. It doesn't like to sit in any kind of uh, moisture retentive compost. The advice is to put it in bark or to put a little bit of perlite in there just to keep a little tiny bit of moisture around. And I believe uh, perlite and vermiculite also keep a little bit of nutrition in there as well. As far as watering goes for a Dendrobium kingianum, uh, like a lot of Dendrobiums really, it likes to be watered and then left to dry out. So definitely less is more. Um, this is perhaps where I've gone wrong with it over the last couple of years. I've not given it a proper rest. When it's come round to winter, I've just carried on as normal and nothing's really happened. But this is one of those types that I understand likes a little bit of a rest over winter. Uh, in terms of not, not completely not watering it whatsoever, uh, I read that what you should be doing is when the canes begin to shrivel, that's when you should give it some water. Now I'd probably water it a little bit more than that, but I'm, I'm certainly going to keep an eye on it. And at the moment, if I just lift the pot up, you can probably see there's a little bit of moisture in there and I was going to water it but having seen this information and seen that probably less is more in this case I'm going to leave it quite a bit longer. So while I've got, got hold of it there I'm going to show you why I think it's about to do something. In the top of each one of these leaf joints you can see a little bit of growth and there's one coming on every single 
leaf node there. Now that's never happened before, so I think it's going to do something, at least I hope it is, something very exciting. So yeah, that's, that's Dendrobium kingianum. And uh, what else have we not talked about? Humidity, it does like humidity. Um, I, I couldn't find an actual percentage, but certainly in my greenhouse, it averages about 75. So I think that's probably about right. Um, watering, we've covered light. Uh, quite forgiving light and temperature, in fact. Uh, light doesn't like, you know, bright sunshine through glass, but definitely a bright place. Uh, repotting, the advice is to repot it once a year and to leave enough space for the new growth, the new canes. You can mount them. Temperatures, uh, they, they don't mind it getting quite warm, you know, up into the 30s, the early 30 degrees Celsius. But again, I wouldn't put it in direct sunlight through glass. I would definitely put some shading on there, but they don't mind, you know, they, if they come from Australia. Um, they're used to growing on rocks and they, do, they don't mind quite a lot of bright sunshine. Definitely wouldn't put them in shade. Uh, temperatures are quite tolerant down to about 5 degrees Celsius so you've got quite a range there to work with. Um, so I believe they are quite an easy orchid in terms of all these different requirements. The flowers should last about a month. I understand the fragrance. I'm looking forward to seeing that and as soon as I get mine to flower which hopefully won't be too long off now looking at these growths, although they are orchids so they are slow, but at least we've got some movement here and I can't see that this will be anything other than flowers. So fingers crossed for me and let's hope I get to see my Dendrobium kingianum in, in, its, in its full glory. So fingers crossed for me. So that's Dendrobium kingianum. And I know I've seen lots and lots of people with these in full bloom and I can't wait to add mine to the, to the mix there. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll be very interested to see your own pictures of Dendrobium kingianum. If you want to link to them, by all means do. And if you've got anything to add to that that I've not covered or any other advice, please put it in the comments and I will see you on the next one. Bye.